for you and in it taking of the earth from outer space so all the blue area all this that's all the ocean and the brown area is right up there right there that's the land that's where you and I live we live on the land and all the blue is the ocean and the white that you see is the clouds this is taken this these images are taken from outer space but we're talking about all the animals that live in the ocean so in the blue area different kinds. There must be thousands of them together. Look at that. Wow, just beautiful. These look clear and kind of yellow. Jellyfish. Let's go make our own. I wanted to show you guys a seal. This is a seal, another animal that lives in the ocean. They have flippers so they can swim and push themselves and strong tails look at that looks like they're having fun and they can hold their breath for a long long time out of water but and then they go up to the surface and breathe they have a little so they can get some air <laughs> Are some of you guys learning to swim? You're going to swim like a seal? <laughs> that one got close, huh? Kind of feels like we're swimming now, doesn't it? Be fun to swim with them. It's just floating there, doesn't it? Just out for a Sunday swim. <laughs> Look at that. He's taking a, he has a blowhole on the top of his body so he can get, can get, um, air in that way, but he can stay underwater for an incredibly long time. There he goes. That's called his fin. Look at the dolphins. They're usually gray and white, and they like to swim together in groups or family called pods. Look at those dolphins. They also come up to the surface for air too, but they can swim for a long time before needing to come up for air. Sometimes people can swim with the dolphins. They are very, very friendly and they're very, very smart. Here is some video of a 
mal por un buen día. And these are living plants that is often found on the bottom of the ocean. And actually a lot of fish, like those blue fish that we see there in clownfish like Nemo, will live in a place like this so it can protect them against the bigger fish. So many different colors and shapes, huh? Hundreds and hundreds of fish swimming together. And when they do this, this is called a school of fish. Just like you guys were in school with us, these fish are in a school. That means they're all together. And they move together and going in the same direction. wonderful sea creatures as I call them are called manta rays look at that there are so many they kind of look like bats and what they are known for is they look like they have wings and that they actually look like they're flying through the water or even through the sky instead of swimming through the water. Look at that. You can see they have eyes over here and underneath they have their mouths so they can feed and they have long, like a, like a um, stingray tail. They can, uh, they can sting you if you step on them. 